who's more likely to buy an animal? It's Brian. It's always Brian. Obviously, Dad. Brian, duh. You might be surprised what the real answer is. Well, who bought the last 10 animals that we have? I guess I do buy quite a few animals. Of course, the last ones I bought were these jeweled Lacertas that I absolutely love. Now, these will mellow out. You can see he's a feisty little monkey right now. Yeah! And this is the boy. Look at the blues coming through him right now. Absolutely amazing European lizard. So get about, you know, this big, a miniature tegu. So yeah, I guess I do buy some things. And this was my latest purchase. And I would say I have a little bit of an addiction when it comes to reptiles. But I always have them as great animal educators. And it's worth it, right? Like the Blue Baron's Racer female I bought recently. Absolutely a wonderful animal. Now males will even get more blue. She's more of a silvery with a little blue undertone. Males can be almost like a powder blue. This is an adult female right here. Although males can get a little bit bigger. Look at that little nose on them. They're absolutely adorable. Look at this animal right here. Come on, Frosty. Or isn't it cool that lizards will actually come to their name? Of course, Frosty is that white water monitor that's absolutely incredible. This was a big purchase for me. It was the only one that I'd ever seen in the world. You could see underneath the shed right over here how absolutely stark white it is. What an absolutely ripper of an animal. Hangs out with Definitely us. Definitely a huge purchase, but one that I never would regret. And of course I bought these four turtles here. Are they two turtles? Are they four turtles? Are they two turtles? They're actually two turtles with four heads or they're four heads with two bodies. Not exactly sure which way it is. But yeah, I did buy these guys recently and I love them together. Of course we have chopsticks. The other two-headed turtle meaning that we have three turtles with six heads. Of course I got Neo, the golden child motley, high reticulated python. That is absolutely wonderful. Got her when she was just a little baby. She's getting some size to her now. Moved up into her new enclosure. She looks so incredibly beautiful in here and she is definitely one of my favorite snakes I've ever purchased. We you know I love Perdita, but again, Perdita is getting darker and darker as she gets older. This animal will stay just like this its whole life. I found something I want to buy. Hey, did you really? I did. What is it? What do you want to, you want to buy something? Oh. Breaking news here at Tinley. Lori Barczyk actually wants to buy something. I found a really nice blue tegu. Another tegu? I feel we need it for the oh, educational program. Okay, let's go. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> look oh my gosh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Wow, that is really nice. Uh -huh. Look, she already likes Lori. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's a girl too. Yep. Snow White. I do love her. That's a beautiful lizard. That's your yes. 30 year anniversary gift. <laughs> oh, I get my anniversary gift. I'll take it. I'll be yeah, honest exactly. with you. I'm happy with that. And this is one of the most amazing blue tegus I've ever seen. But what was going through your mind when you decided to buy her? A, she was beautiful, caught my attention. And B, we did need another one for educational purposes. It was a win-win. I'm always on board when Lori is buying an animal. And this thing is absolutely a ripper. Like I said, one of the prettiest blue tegus I've ever seen in my entire life. By the way, what's her name? Snow White. Guys, meet Snow White. Yeah, Lori has a problem buying all these animals. Mike, didn't Dad buy El Machino too? I think so. Oh my goodness, he's looking food motivated right now. What happened with Dad and my mom, huh? Pretty sure he tried to hide it from her. I don't think it worked out. I don't think so I either. Think, I think she found it like immediately. And I'm pretty sure Mr. Brian bought this turtle. These turtles too. Pretty sure he bought a couple turtles with two heads. Maybe even a turtle with no head. All the heads and all the legs. Why? Because he has a turtle, etc. Turtle, turtle. Bacon of two heads. Ben and Jerry, the two headed California king snake. Mr. Of course, Mr. Brian bought this when he had the chance, right? Yeah, Mr. Dad bought this back in 20 something. But this isn't the first two headed snake he bought. He bought this one, and that one, and this one. Thank goodness we got this one. We can, we can be done now. No. So Lori, how many animals did I buy at Tinley Park? I don't know. I haven't found out yet. Well, it happened to be zero. Don't get me wrong. I love that you buy animals. It takes the pressure off of me. And it gives me the opportunity because when you buy an animal, I get to buy an animal, right? No, that's not how that works. And still, you buy way more animals than I do. One of my dream animals forever was diamond pythons. And I know I say that all the time because it's the truth. I have a ton of dream animals and it's amazing to be able to get some of them. Don't they say this first step is to always admit that you have a problem? Yes, I have a problem. But diamond pythons are amazing. And this little girl here is absolutely wonderful. Ooh, doggy, I tell you what, this animal is an absolute ripper here. This, of course, is a western or what they call Mandarin phase Sanzinia or Madagascan tree boa. And I tell you what, I have been loving these animals forever. There's actually a green phase that I would love to get too. So when those become available, I'm definitely going to be getting a green phase as well. Born red, actually turn green when they get older when they're from the east. And they stay like this when they're from the west. Wonderful, wonderful animals. And definitely a great addition to the reptarium. Bandit is the false water cobra here on display at the Reptarium. We actually have another one, but it's not that friendly. And the fact that these are rear fang venomous, just having mild venom, but we don't want anyone to get bit. We wanted to get a little one that we could raise up and really handle every single day. And you can see how absolutely plastic Bandit is. I'm actually going to not hand this to a child or something like that, but certainly any adult can come here and handle Bandit. And I never have to worry about it biting. Tyson is one of the cutest little animals I've ever seen in my entire life. When my buddy actually acquired this animal, I was all about like, please let me buy it. I want to get it so 
so bad. Of course, it's only one of a couple albino eastern box turtle in the entire world. And he was so tiny when he comes. He's still tiny. But he was a quarter of this size when we actually got him. He started to grow and just looks absolutely incredible. I'm so happy I was able to buy Tyson because he's one of the most adorable animals I've ever seen. And then there's, of course, my buddy Brillo here. He's six-banded armadillo. Absolutely a wonderful animal. Love him so, so much. He is one of the coolest animals I've ever had. Definitely one of the favorite animals that everyone that comes to Reptarium gets. I would never think that I would own an armadillo, but he is an unbelievably wonderful animal. Want some pets on your belly, buddy? Yes, you love the pets on your belly? I mean, look at that cute face. Who couldn't love this animal? Ah, dang it. The light went out. Beetlejuice. Gotta fix that later. Beetlejuice. And you see it all over it. They're like little white bugs. Really? It's fine. Yeah. Let's just finish the piece. Beetlejuice. <laughs> Mr. Brian also bought Beetlejuice. The Bell's face lace monitor. Wait. I said that right? I did say that right. Now, obviously, Brian buys a lot of monitors and stuff, but this one, I let it slide. Look how beautiful. Look how what, Mike? I, what was that? Beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. He's my favorite. Look how calm he's getting. I'm gonna scare him. Look how calm he's getting. You scared him. You were talking too quiet. Two, four, six, eight, 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 ten, twelve. Just got this jacket. It does look fly. Maybe that's what it is. It's fly larva. <laughs> But that's not all you bought. You bought a frog. Not that frog. This is the best. I like this. This is, this is, this is where we do back to help less. I bought another animal. What animal? What? Are roles changing in this relationship? What's going on? What did you buy? I bought a pixie frog. I'm definitely into that. I Wait, know. did you hear what else you got though? Which one did you just tell him about? Pixie frog. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a good I'm one. excited. <laughs> all right, so we have this really cool frog. Lori's been on a buying spree lately. And this of course is an African pixie frog or what they call an African bullfrog. But the name is what I really like because this is the dad here. Look at this. This is I'm Big Sam. So, of course, this is Son of Sam. <laughs> Mr. Brian also bought Pinocchio, which I don't understand why. No. I <laughs> Wait. Scratch mm -hmm. it. I don't know why he brought that, that. I don't know why he bought that blue bear eraser because Get that we thing. already have one. But it's going to turn blue. No, no. This one stays green. So yeah. it's going to turn blue. No, this one stays green. But like how positive? Like 99.999. And what makes you that positive? Because it's it's in his name. I think it's already changing colors. That is not blue. No, it's changing colors. It was so much more green when we first got it. No. No, no. Literally, Dad went to his first reptile show in five years, and less than two weeks later, we had these here. Just because he saw them at the show. Mr. Brian's a smart, educated man. No, he's not impulsive at all. Very so when he saw these, he was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wait until I get back home. And, and then just be, have them shoot. Yeah, be very responsible. And now we have them here at the Raptor. So if you come, you can see these guys. You know those wood snakes you have as a child? They uh, kind of feel like it. That's exactly what they feel like. You just doing that, I feel the vibration through my fingers. You like the way that feels, Mike? I do. And this thing is so cool. Whoa! Chill out, buddy. Chill out. Whoa! Oh my goodness gracious. They are crazy. Look at how cool that is. And I actually wanted a big pixie frog. I've always wanted a giant male pixie frog. So I wasn't upset that you got this animal. That male was ridiculously big. Sam was huge. Sam was one of the biggest pixie frogs I've ever seen because... Whoa. Oh, and because his dad's name is Sam, what are we calling this one? Son of Sam. That's right, guys. Meet the son of Sam. Lori, uh, I think you need an... <laughs> Lori, I think you need an intervention. I agree. Oh! This is Bugatti. This is the Bolins, by the way. Bolins. Again, definitely not one of Brian's Mr. I can't Not one of Brian's Mr. Mr. Brian's impulsive box. This is only a 10, 12 grand snake. Really? Only and that much, huh? Yeah, because we had it at BHB making sure that... Boring! We were shopping for real Bugattis. We made a trade. You traded a we $10,000 snake for a $3 million car? Yeah. Well, that's smart. That's such a great business, man. Ah, okay. All right, my dad bought Gemma about a year ago. Yeah. Ah, we needed another giant stick. Ah, oh, Mike. Ah. Oh. Lori even calls this to retake Arium sometimes. Because we have so many reticulated pythons. Am I just being your back support here, Noah? Yeah. It's actually one of those weird physics things because I'm not even like I'm falling forward. And I'm not even feeling like I'm falling back. We're close. What a cute couple. Aw, oh, thanks, Noah. Not us, them. She's coming back. Oh, She's my coming goodness. back. Oh, my goodness. She really threw that in reverse right there, didn't she? What? What is that? What is this guy doing? Just chilling out, you know, like thrilling out. That is a human in a lizard body. <laughs> What's up? Hey, buddy. Looks like we're gonna have to schedule Lori a little intervention with all her animal buying. Hopefully it helps her out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful- Yo, Mike, we got a couple tasks for you to do today. Cause obviously I see you're doing nothing. That's not true. I'm counting how many toes he has. 